What's up, Reapers? Welcome back to the channel, Sons of Anarchy, season three, episode number five, and damn it, Gemma. Oh my God. Damn it, Gemma. Before she was even, <sighs> he's in Belfast, something. There's an absolute 0% chance that she dies in that moment. She no cannot. Way. She's not allowed. It's Absolutely not allowed. Absolutely no way. No. Absolutely no way in hell. But it makes sense because she has been going through it. Honestly. She has been dealing with stress. And the way she found out about Abel in that moment just put her over the top. Her heart couldn't handle it. Family history of heart problems. And it's just one of those things like the stuff between her dad and being on the run and hiding from murder. And just all this stuff that's going on. It's just... Ugh. It's been too much for her. Yeah. And I again, finding out about Abel like that under those circumstances, when she was already a little panicky because she went home to find him, and he, was he wasn't where there. he was supposed to be. Mm -mm. And then you start freaking out. You go to the club like, where is Abel? What's going on? Where's Nita? Like, what is happening here? And she just starts getting even more panicky. And then she gets that phone call. And it's like, oh, shit. Not only is Abel not where he's supposed to be, he's not in Charming. He's not even in the States. He is in Belfast. Holy shit. Like, that is just absolutely nuts. And she better be okay just so that she could relay the message to Jackson what Company. If she, what if she's in a coma? Yeah. I. The fuck? I don't know. And oh it's just God. one of those things where the, the stuff going on this season is so intense and it's so nerve-wracking. Just yes. because it's the loss of a child. Yes. It and we talk about babies. it being parents and stuff. Yes. And I couldn't even think about the idea of our child being gone like that and losing one of your kids. And the fact that they showed us where Abel is and he's essentially like one of just a bunch of children laying in these little cribs with no name. Uh, Baby A. Honestly, like anytime we talk about this stuff, like my I can't even focus like on what's happening because I instantly go to trying to live my life <sighs> thinking that my child is yeah. missing. Like I'm struggling Mama to like focus in. right now because all I can think about is my child yeah. sleeping sleeping somewhere, being away. Having no clue what the hell's going ha on. Having no idea. Oh, I just... Just nuts. This is a lot for me. <laughs> and I just... Like, even if they get the information that he's there, like, how do you even find him under these circumstances? In a completely other country. Yeah, and e even if you figure it out, like, Jimmy's been bullshitting and... The guy's full of shit, I feel like, every single time Everybody he needs to fucking die. Oh, boom. You are all dying. The charter... I will go to fucking prison <laughs> for this shit. <laughs> I mean, you do anything for your child. But, like, even the charter lied to Jax in Belfast, that, like... Oh, my God. I hope... Because Cherry found the money. I hope Cherry is able to say some shit, too. Yeah, like, hopefully. Get a hold of somebody yeah. other than Gemma. This whole situation is just very nerve-wracking. And, again, it's just one of those things... Like, even if you talk to Jimmy and speak to the... I don't know what the father's name is. Like, who knows where Abel ends up within a day? No, they were, By the like, time fucking, you, like... Yeah making it rain on the fucking yeah. table over there jesus so wild and it's it's really sad and it's very unfortunate and i hope Gemma is okay i hope Jax could figure this out and make it there and talk to the right people and get able back like that is priority number one i need some resolution question. yeah 100 and nothing bad better happen to that kid oh my god i think i talked about it a little bit in the last episode i brought it up the idea that this irish storyline has gotten so much bigger than i expected it to be yeah i always thought they were going to kind of just be side players who dealt guns to the sons of anarchy and had a relationship with sam crow and yeah it's so much bigger than that because of what went down with stall and all the stuff with everything else that went down and the one dude getting killed and like oh, i'm gonna take a son for a son and just kidnapping it. it's like that shit snowballed into such a bigger story than i ever imagined that the irish storyline would have become and now i essentially hate them and i think you agree because of you know, you're messing with the baby. Fuck him. That's not cool. And Jax definitely hasn't been the same this season for obvious reasons. Ew. And he's definitely in a dark place because, again, you take his child away. And there's nothing like becoming a parent and then the assumption of just feeling so lost and empty and helpless, not able to help your child and find your child. And he's dealing with that. And him and Tara are going through it. Yeah. They're dealing with a lot. 
And Tara just continues to just be like, hey, this is my choice. I want to be here. I want to do this. And he's like, no, go back to work. You can't lose your job. You can't keep getting deeper and deeper into this like I am and all that stuff. And, yeah, I don't think she's going nowhere. And I think she's going to keep keep slipping to the dark side. The dark side, I mean. Honestly, that's kind of what it is. The club is our, it's it's our boys. It's our peeps. And we're down with them. And But it's still but, the dark side. Yeah, for sure. And for what she knows and what she's doing, yeah. I mean, even though she's now been not necessarily fully responsible, but accessory to multiple murders. Honestly. Honestly. Uh, kind of makes sense that she would stick around and, and do this. But yeah. yeah, their relationship is in a difficult place just because obviously Jax is dealing with shit. Tara wants to be there to help. And it's just, he's, it's. His, I feel like it's his defense mechanism to just push away and yes. not embrace. That so, sounds, yeah, that it, sounds right. It, it's just unfortunate because, again, we talk about it, I feel like, every episode now. Because every time I feel like they're getting close again, Jax kind of pushes her away and has this whole conversation. They yelled at each other and stuff. You want to be an old lady? Fuck, do what I tell you. Yeah, to. things were a little intense, Bitch. but... I don't see Tara going anywhere. Mm. I just see her just sticking by Jax's side as much as he's going to allow her. And, yeah. But, like, she's stepping up and, like... She always steps up. You want to fuck with me? I'm going to fuck with you back. She's She's been a massive MVP for a lot of different scenarios. And she was there when Gemma fell, so maybe she could be there to help oh and God. not let anything super serious happen to her. Like, having her on the spot, I'm sure, helps a lot more than not having her on the spot. So, yeah, I mean, she's been a massive player and a really, really key member to this crew mm -hmm. because she's done a lot of shit for them and yep. always comes through when they need her, and I don't see that changing anytime soon, and I just see it continuing. And on a positive side, there's like a, a lot of negative, nerve-wracking shit going oh on this season. Oh, my God, yeah. The crew is like this right now. Yes. They are super tight. The boys are all on the same page. They've all got each other's backs. They're riding for each other. Whatever Jax needs to get Abel back, they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll go to Canada. Yeah, I mean, if they find out that he's in Belfast, like, yeah, fucking let's go. I mean, they're all due to get how. locked back up soon. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to fly over there. Yeah, I, that's that's a whole nother issue because, again, Gemma's wanted for murder. And Gemma called, called Stahl probably as a distraction to get her back to Charming. But she called Stahl and told her probably as she was at her parents' house because her dad's not there anymore. Right. That was the other thing that she was dealing with. That had to drop her dad off, which was such an emotional thing. Yeah. And, yeah, all the boys are, their warrants or something about all their bails got removed for that, you know, church incident where they had a gun and dude fired the gun and people, they got blamed for it. Um, their bail's getting removed, so they're all going to be due back in prison until the end of the trial. And, I mean, they're not going to go willing, obviously, because that's not what they do. So, yeah, this <laughs> this situation has gotten so nuts, and there's so much going on per every episode of Sons of Anarchy. And every episode, hence, shit just gets worse and worse and worse. Yeah, hence so, the anarchy. Yeah, exactly. They're the sons of it. Yep. Clearly. Get it. So, I yeah. After three seasons, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> They're the sons of anarchy. Got it. Yeah. So, yeah. And they always figure out a way around shit. And I can't wait to figure out how they get Abel back because there's no way they're killing a baby in this show. Oh, my God. I honestly, I don't know if I can continue. There's no way they're going to let Abel just disappear into the ether of just the world without getting back to Jax. Like, I, I can't see that happening. I don't know if I can continue watching if, if that happens. We'll I'm continue, attached. We'll continue watching for sure. Oh, my God. One million percent. But yeah, it's wild, and I hope they figure it out. But you ready to check it out? See where we go with this next episode? Yes. Let's go. Yeah, she's in it. Is she in a coma? Oh, she's awake. Hey, baby. Good morning. Heart attack. No. That arrhythmia knocked you on your ass. You stop taking your meds. I make my feet swell. Damn it, Jenna. Get into my boots. Fashion before health, that's my girl. <laughs> Shit. You need to get back on your medication, stabilize you. Doc says you should be fine in a few days. Oh, yep. Oh, shit. I was gonna ask if she's, like, officially in the hospital. Yeah. And she what are you thinking, coming back here? I was thinking I was gonna see my grandson. Lie to me. Sorry. Where's Jax? I need some answers. Shit. So what's going on? I have to confirm the tracker with Surge today. Pull the trigger. 
Send the 10 grand. I'm making sure my mom's okay and then I'm heading north. Oh, they still don't know. Gemma's awake, she wants to talk to you. Okay. The first thing I hope she says is like, hey, I spoke to Maureen and he's She's, in Belfast. Yeah. Hey, mom. She is not happy. This is on you too, Doc. Uh-oh. What happened? The truth. All of it. When Cameron killed Sack, he took Abel. Feds weren't doing shit, so we hired a bounty hunter. He's somewhere up in Vancouver. We were just trying to protect your mom. Bullshit. You're trying to protect yourselves. He's not in Vancouver. Okay, there we go. Thank you. The call I got last night triggered all this. It's Maureen Ashby. She told me Abel's in Belfast. Jimmy and O'Neill saw Cameron get scooped up as soon as he hit Belfast. He didn't have Abel with him. They lied well, then to you. somebody's full of shit. Oh shit. Calm down. Relax. Take it easy as soon as I know where the hell my grandson is. Come on, everyone out. She needs rest. I think it's time to get Jimmy a call. Yeah. And be like, but also, bitch. don't wire that fucking money to the guy for Vancouver. No. If O'Neill lied to you, means Belfast could be in bed with Jimmy. McGee's first nine. You think he'd lie to us? Dude, that's so messed up. I don't know, but we gotta talk to his old lady again. I didn't realize he was one of the first nine. And he's lying to Jax. Jax goes to Belfast. Stones get unturned. S see? Stones? What? Bound to happen, I guess. And what happens to you? I called Stahl, made a deal. Told her I'd sign off on her bullshit story. She takes death off the table, I get weekly visitations. What the fuck? This is such bullshit. I'm supposed to turn myself in this morning. I'm sorry, baby. Too old to run. So how about the actual truth? Dude. This is so fucked up. This is so fucked up. I mean, they keep, like, they're so sneaky with, like, these little lines that they throw into, like, these conversations. Stones, Stones get unturned. unturned. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize Dude Who Lied to Jax was one of the originals. Yeah. Like, that's really messed up. Like, one of the OGs is bullshitting. Yeah. Like. You dying, boy. I got a little problem, Luke. We got word from a friend in Belfast. The Cameron was spotted with a baby. Before your army boys off them. If he was seen with a baby, it had to be in someone else's kid. How do you know? I don't know who the friend is, brother. But they're feeding you some rubbish. So why don't you reach out to that O'Fallon bastard and get us some fresh intel? Consider it done. All these folks are really good at lying. Yeah. When you talk to your boss, you let him know. If I find out he's been lying about my son, I'm gonna track him down. Uh-oh. I'm gonna beat the truth out of him. And then I'm gonna let Chips cut him from here to here. <laughs> There's no need to get theatrical, boys. We know that's not gonna happen. Oh, shit. It sounds like it is gonna happen. Yeah. I hope Chips does get to do that. Folks in Charmin are struggling with Sam Crow. I got a lot of people looking over my shoulder. I ain't gonna be able to run much interference. What does that mean for us? It means uh, I gotta be a cop for a while. I'm sorry. Yeah, he has his own deal that he's gotta handle. Yeah. And with Hale dying, like... Yeah. That changes so much for him. It's like, this dude's never going to be able to retire, it feels like. Honestly, honestly. Hi, sweetheart. Am I interrupted? Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm going, Luke. Sticking to a story. And check in with Jimmy, get back to us. We got the number for Ashby Provisions. Eight hours ahead in Belfast. There'll be somebody there. You ready to make this call? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Lovely timing. I want to thank you for turning yourself in. Saves us time and the taxpayers' money. Any news on your grandson? Shouldn't we be asking you that? Well, we're doing the best we can, given the level of cooperation that we have received. Dr. Knowles seems to be a little vague on what happened. 
Well, I wouldn't know. I was with you being framed, remember? That attitude is really not going to serve you. Oh, my God. Let's just get this deal over with. Problem there. Oh, what, what problem? Now? Well, you see, when the U.S. attorney signs off on a deal, it's very specific. You were supposed to have turned yourself in this morning. I came back. It's not my fault my heart no, I had know, a goddamn I know. other plan. Well, I am just giving you a heads up, okay? It may all go away. If you were to speak with Tara and refresh her memory as to an Irish, I may be able to help you. I swear to God, I will kill you! Is he, sweetheart? We wouldn't want that little heart getting all skippy again now, would we? <clears throat> Dude, Stahl is literally the worst. Honestly. She is such a bad person. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Ashby's. Yeah, I was looking for Maureen. Not here. How's it? A friend. Who's this? A daughter. Got a name, friend? You know when she'll be back? She won't. Look, it's very important that I talk to her. So important you can't give me a name. Tell her someone from Charming needs to speak with her again. Mother to mother. Sister? Right? <laughs> it's gotta be, right? That's the chicken, man. I roll her. He's a little paranoid, so... Just let me deal with this one. Would you mind getting in? Talking this way makes me feel very conspicuous. All right. This feels not good. Is he gonna drive off with fucking juice in it? Shit. Oh, dude. Oh, this is some bullshit. No, 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 no. This is some bullshit. I'm sorry, Juan Carlos. I've run up a bit of a tab with these Mexican fellows. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, what now? Salazar and 2CL jumped me in the chicken man's van. They took my cut. What? what? You like goddamn puppet club strippies patch? Well, I think I know where we might find it. I just got off the phone with Tio. Bastard's got intel on where the mines might be sitting up the heroin shop. You bought me in chips. I'll do it. Can't do shit here. What happens if you lose your cut like that? Hmm. It sounds like a really bad thing. Let's get you patched up, huh? That hurt? Oh! oh. <laughs> Fucking clay. Dude, like, uh, that's obviously like a really bad thing if yeah. you lose your cut to the rival friggin' MC. Sounds like his crew never saw a TIG. We might need more than one unfamiliar face to scope this place out. You want to go undercover, Chucky? I accept that. <laughs> We're never going to get rid of this dude. Honestly, he's calling fingers. <laughs> Stall came by. Your name came up. Well, she was in the room when the FBI interviewed me. I didn't tell them anything. Why don't you tell me? That's what Jack said. Cameron killed Halfsack, tied me up, and took it. Nothing you could have done about that? Had a gun pointed to my head. What if it was your baby? Are you serious right now? What the hell does that mean? If it was your flesh and blood, you would have thrown yourself in front of a bullet. That's unbelievably cruel. I did everything I could. Everything except save him. Wow. That's harsh. How far along are you? Mm-hmm. Nailed it! <laughs> Six weeks. Oh, she does know. No one knows. But everything else Boom. doesn't make sense. Quite the secret queen, Lele. Yeah, well, I learned from the best. I'm assuming it's Jackson. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, her, like, the emotion, like, again, it's such a, she should be emotional. Yeah. It felt like something else. And a couple times she vomited. Who would my ma be calling in Charmin? Oh, it's the Redwood Originals. Why do you ask? Someone rang at the shop. Very mysterious lad insisted it was important for ma to call back. Right. Uh, they leave a number. Girl, you just fucked this all up. Right, I'll run it past her when she's back. Damn it. Hey, man. I'm here to pick up supplies for my boss. You got a PO number? Nah, I got nothing. Uh, hail sewage removal. Mm, it's not here. Let me go check the system. Be right back.
such a character. <laughs> Absolutely. I think that's the perfect way to describe the dude. <laughs> Take this aisle to the right. Act Mexican. What do I do if I see something? You're gonna come back to that van alive and go. Fucking tag, dude. With the flip phones. With the flip phones. <laughs> yeah. Who the hell are you? I find Chucky. Oh my god. Damn, dude, just fucking somebody at the office. Shit. <laughs> what is that stuff? Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Some crew. They're waiting for you to call them back. You better tell me, darling, because now you're messing in my business. It's got nothing to do with you. My club. My problem. We know Cammy took Jack's teller's boy, and there was no trace of him when they found him in the street. And I know he came to see you more, because he had no one else to turn to. Do you know where that baby is? Is that what you're calling Charming? Just tell me, because I can help you. This feels bad. I love you, Mac. And you know, I would do anything for the club. You know that. But this matter involves the other half of my life. I piss you off. You smack me around. I piss off the army. I end up with my head squeezed off by a razor wire. I'm sorry, darling. I have nothing to say. You said plenty. Yikes. Oh my God. What, is, what does that mean? I don't know. It didn't feel good. Honestly, no. I'm scared now for her. I'm calling from a heist line. Is that JT's boy that called the shop? My boy, yes. I understand you've uh, made contact with someone else we know. I have. Can I be sure of that? He's a fighter. Scar on his belly. What was he wearing? Cheap onesie. Blue hat. White pom-pom. Where is he? Abel's with a friend. I'm not sure how much longer he can keep him safe. That's all I can say right now. Boy needs a star. What the hell? It doesn't feel like that kid was with the friend. We gotta get to Belfast. How? <laughs> how? With everything going on, how? This sucks because it feels like they're being betrayed by one of their own. Yeah. Like... How was your phone call? What did you hear? You were talking about a baby, like he was missing or something. He's the friend that has him. Is it Uncle Kale? You already know too much. Damn it, Ma. I'm not a child. Tell me the truth. Members from the original charter are coming out here soon. You have more truth than you can handle. And what's that? Oh my god. They're so like vague. <laughs> like more truth than you can handle. Stones will be unturned. Like, what? Well, and even Gemma's like, my boy. Mm hmm. No. No. Oh, no. Shit. Bitch. What are you doing? You guys are good. Where is this from? I don't know. You may want to learn to be more cooperative. The U.S. attorney has refused to honor the deal. Says he has no proof that you were actually going to turn yourself in. Don't shoot the messenger. Actually, yes, shoot the messenger. That'd be great. Between you and me, I think he's going to press you real hard for intel in the club. Which means you either give up your boys or your boys give up you. Oh, my God. You ain't, you know, ain't neither one of those things happening. Oh, my God. This is such bullshit. So because she had a friggin' heart medical condition, like... Now she's... Considered not turning yourself in. Yeah. They never thought she was going to do it. Like, what the fuck? It's like she's literally sitting handcuffed to a hospital chair. Like. How'd it go? As expected. Fine. Still in one piece. Maybe not for long. Hopefully. 
Piece of British shit. Check the bathroom. Uh oh. It's car bomb. It's car bomb. It's car bomb. Dude. 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 Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> oh, dang it. That was totally gonna be a car bomb. Jesus Christ, Jack! You and Jimmy lied to me. You're making a great mistake. Oh, I don't think he. No. Who was my son? Is it Jimmy? Why is he doing this? I don't know. I do. Just no! Oh, shit. I, I thought that was, was the end of oh the episode. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> oh, damn it. Should have listened to you. I'm up north. It's okay. You just get some sleep. We make it all right. Man, Jack's on a mission is a scary dude. I wouldn't fuck with him. Honestly, like, no. Stop lying to him. Be straight up with him. How did you get my address? ATF took away your shiny black sedan, making you drive your own car. Juice is hacking DMV now? <laughs> Juice has got skills. What do you want? A deal. What the hell is he doing here? Just go back to bed, okay? You shouldn't be yeah. here, June. Why don't you shout it louder? I am handling it. Please go back to bed. Bringing your work home with you, huh? <laughs> I never seem to learn. <laughs> Shit. You got five minutes. Your career's taken a huge hit. Booted off the Irish, stripped of your team. We both know you're looking at a transfer to some left for dead field office. This is what you came here to tell me? Not only can I give you your career back, I can make you an ATF legend. The agent who single-handedly broke the real IRA NorCal terrorist threat. I'll hand deliver Jimmy O'Fallon. Give you the names of his real IRA contacts and my sworn statement. What the hell? Everything you need to know about the gun running. And what do you want? My son, my mother, and my club. And how am I supposed to deliver those things? No witness from Zobel's church party is going to testify. That just leaves the federal automatic weapons charges. With all the priors that you guys have, the U.S. attorney will never drop them. We just want them reduced. Short time. MC's got a bail hearing tomorrow. You need to slow that down. So I could travel out of the country. So you can get to Belfast for Jimmy. And I'm guessing that's where he was. Even if I could push the bail hearing, you guys still can't leave the country. It's my problem. We just can't have the fugitive heat. And your mother? Your lie set this whole nightmare in motion. I don't give a shit what you have to do. You can't your statement. Tell some new lies. Find a scapegoat. You just set that truth straight. Immunity is a complicated problem. Immunity is bullshit. Too many strings. I want a statement signed by you clearing her of both kills. Damn. And I'm supposed to just trust you, huh? It's yeah, not bitch. like I can trust yeah. you. My club finds out I am dead. My risk is just as great. Shit. And what makes you think that I would actually believe that the prince would turn rat? Luke Moran. Jimmy's number two. Enough illegal weapons to trip Homeland Security? This asshole has to disappear. He can't reach out, no lawyers, or this all goes away for both of us. Terrorists don't get phone calls. Bring him back to Haney's pub. Put him the guns in his SUV. We have a deal? This makes me very nervous for Jack's Yeah. Now. I'm gonna need to draw something up. No, you this is a simple trade. I deliver Jimmy and my sworn statement. You sign off on the club's gun charges and my mom. Hey, I'm the one that's gotta deliver. You got nothing to lose. I don't like this one bit. It's you and me. We're all we got, June. I don't like it one bit. Nope. I, that's the fucking end. I like, can't do I don't, this. I don't trust Stahl <laughs> at all. I don't care. Hey! Oh. That rhymes. <laughs> I don't care what kind of deal you're giving her. I don't care anything about what you're saying. I don't trust her one bit. No, she has proven... That bitch. Like, oh, every step of the way, she's proven... To be a giant horseshit. Like, one of the worst people in this show. Yes. Like, Terrible the stuff person. that she has been responsible for and the people that have been hurt because of her actions 
it's just nuts. And I mean, this makes me so nervous for Jax. Yes. The fact that he was, like, he's basically becoming a rat and he essentially told her like, hey, I'm at much risk to be killed by my club if they find out that I'm doing this. Which is terrifying. Like, hello? Yeah. That just, that just sounds bad. And I get it because he's going above and beyond to get Abel back. Yeah. And. He's desperate. Yeah. And he's trying to solve everybody's problem all at once. Yeah. Which doesn't feel like it's possible. It just doesn't feel like a reality. Like, I mean, finger crossed that it is because this is wild. Yeah, and that's his play to potentially get out of the country. I was wondering how they were going to make this work. Mm -hmm. He's using stall to push the hearing or to lighten the gun charges. And again, it's just one of those situations where, hey, what the hell's going to happen? I, I don't even feel com confident that they know where, like, Maureen was like, uh, Abel's with a friend. It didn't look she like... she doesn't even know. She doesn't know. She don't know. That didn't look like a friend. No, it looks like a fucking underground adoption agency. Yeah. That looks like human trafficking. It, it did. That's exactly what it looked like. Babies and it's, on the black market. Like, what is going to happen with Jack? Like, is Jack's going to get ambushed by his own, like, Sons of Anarchy members? I mean, especially like, Maureen's dude. Yeah, I mean, that they're lying to him. They're covering up the situation, and that just feels like a really bad situation. And Cherry, the fact... Cherry has got to be weaved in here somewhere. She's got to be helping, like, in another episode Yeah, she definitely wasn't something. shown on accident. No. Like, she was inserted into this... She was inserted back into this... I thought she was gone. Like, I totally forgot what even happened to her when, when they kind of shipped her off. But... She was brought back for a reason, and she's definitely going to be a player in this moment. But, I mean, there are so many small, little, subtle things that they drop in this show. Like, even going back to, like, season one, where they're talking about lies becoming truths, and you tell these enough, they become your reality, and all that stuff. And I, I, I thought it was all linked to John Teller's death. Right. And I feel like now... With the stuff with Maureen, I think it's obvious that your theory is, at least if it's not... Plausible. If it's not, like, 100% correct, it's something along those lines. Because it's like Gemma's like, oh, you go to Belfast, stones get unturned. And, like, Maureen's saying things that are like, oh, more troops than you can handle to her daughter. And there's just so many little lines that get thrown out that feel massive to the story. Mm -hmm. And it's like... Can someone follow up with a, what do you mean by that? <laughs> like, can someone, like, ask another question? Like, can the daughter just be like, what are you talking about? Yeah. What do you mean more truths than I can handle? But no, everybody's like, just like, oh, I will next go with scene. that riddle. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. It just cuts to the next scene. You're like, wait, what? That was really, it sounded really important. Can we go back to that, please? And it just seems like that happens so often in this show. They just, like, plant the seed, and then the story just keeps going. And, I mean, this, again, this whole Irish storyline, and now that we're weaving in the Sons of Anarchy chapter, like, this just feels like it's such a massive story now. And, I mean, I just don't know where this goes. I don't see a lot of, I mean, I always, they, they do a really good job of painting, like, a bleak picture for them, and they always find their way out of it. They always find, like, with Zobel last season, it's like, how the hell are they going to beat this guy? They ended up finding a way. This scenario, it feels like, what the hell? How are they going to get Abel back? How are they even going to get to Belfast? Uh, I... And it's like, they always find a way. Yeah. And I'm confident that they're going to figure this out. But making a deal with Stahl, it makes me very nervous for oh Jax. Oh my god, because she's the fucking worst. Yeah. She's literally the worst. And, I mean, maybe enticing her with the idea of getting her career back and getting this giant bust is enough to kind of keep her on your side for a minute. But, like, what's going to keep her from turning on you after? Well, hopefully it's enough. I don't know. Because she, nothing loves, about her. she loves to, like, reveal the rat. Right. Oh, like, that's God. her big, that's always kind of her big play is either creating a rat, making you think that, like, with Opie, making it feel like, oh, he's the rat when he wasn't, but planting all these seeds for the club to think that he was. I, I just... Getting there's been killed. there's been no reason for us as the audience to trust her ever under any circumstances. Right. And now that Jax has made this deal with her, it's like, this just doesn't feel good. Mm -mm. This doesn't feel right. 
And again, you, you mentioned it, but Jax is desperate and he's doing whatever he can to get on a plane to get to Belfast to go get his son back. And just everything that's going into this right now, it just feels massive and it feels very scary. And I mean, yeah, I, I just, I don't know because I don't have a lot to add to this because I'm upset about Abel. I'm upset about Tara being pregnant because I'm worried about her. Nailed it. I'm just saying, but I I just I can't stop thinking about a, a baby being away from their yeah, parent. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. And the thing that sucks really bad about this is the fact that fellow brothers are betraying honestly like Sam Crow honestly and i didn't even realize the dude the president there was one of the original 9 which is like dude that's that feels like such a i feel like obviously there's a lot of bad shit that goes on within Sons of Anarchy and the MC across all the different MCs but it's like do you if there's no loyalty within your own club, like, what the hell? You have nothing. Is that Jimmy? Is that just shows how powerful and influential Jimmy is? I really hope that Chibs just gives him a smile. Oh, that would be, like... On the neck. Yeah. <laughs> him getting that revenge and getting that kill one day is just... That'll be so satisfying. With the way he just kind of torments him and just... With his wife and yeah, daughter. Fuckers. Just dangles that in front of him and just... It sucks. But, like, again... Jimmy feels like a really powerful dude who's got a lot of influence and a lot of protection. And yeah, it just doesn't, he, he's never seemed like someone that you could fuck with. Mm -hmm. And Jax is like, I'm going to fuck with it. <laughs> like he doesn't care right now. And it just, again, it makes me nervous because he's going out of his way to do something really dangerous so that he could get everybody something they want. Right. Get his mom protection, get the club protection, even get Stahl's career back. Which, maybe Jax is playing her somewhere along the line, which I would hope. Oh my like, god, that would be so awesome. Jax doesn't <gasps> see, like... That would be cool. Be like, see, no, you're the bitch that actually fucking killed all these people. Yeah. I mean, the idea, obviously when you're emotional... You're not always kind of thinking straight and you don't create the best plans when you're emotional. But Jax isn't dumb. He's always been very smart and calculated. He's always been a lot better than Clay when it comes to strategy and planning things out. Yes, even when he's upset. So I'm, I'm wondering if he, by her not putting anything official in writing and him doing it, I don't know if there's like something that he's going to be able to flip on her. God, I hope but so. Oh it, my God, that would be, be so good. That would be the best thing if Jax could flip all this on her and get her even more busted. Like somehow lying about Gemma, that could be, I mean, that could be severe for her, like not even just her career, for her life. Jamie lying I mean, for, for sure. Severe. I mean, she would probably get locked up for a long time if she got busted for lying yeah. about the stuff that happened with Gemma. Sorry, stand-up comedy yeah. is, you know. Okay. I need security. <laughs> it was severed. It was severed. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I, like the more we talk about this and like, let the stuff marinate, I'm really hopeful that Jax is playing her. Oh my God. The, like using honestly, her vulnerability. It would just be so good. Because she's very vulnerable right now. Yeah. And she's desperate too. So that he might be, be able to. That icing on the fucking cake. Yeah. Because she's been a terrible, terrible person Honestly. from the moment she showed up. And now she's sleeping with her coworker. <laughs> you can't do that stuff. And she even said it. She'll never learn. <laughs> like, she doesn't, yeah. It's just not in her to play by the rules. Yeah. But, don't, uh, don't, you know, pee in the pool. Yeah. Don't shit where you eat. Yeah. Don't, don't it's fuck usually, it up. It's always a bad idea. So, it, it definitely, like, now that I've thought about it more and we've talked about it, <laughs> Jax is definitely playing her. Don't you love our analogies? You 100%. love that? You know. One million percent he's playing her. I hope so. That's where my brain's at now. And everything's going to be fine. Sure. It's going to be fine. I hope so. It's all going to be fine. I hope so. She's going to follow through. He's going to get on a plane, hopefully with Clay and a couple other guys. And they're going to go show up. They're going to smoke that club. Like They're going to have to take out their own club members. Because they're... You know, and members of the clergy, betrayal. apparently. Yeah, it, it, it's treason then. It's treason then. Yeah. That's basically, you guys are done. And they go and find Abel. And 
it gets revealed that Maureen it's is happily Jax's. ever after. And how many episodes are in this season? Thirteen. I think they're all like thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so fuck. Maureen is definitely Jax's mom, by the way. I feel like it. Yeah. I. How can? <sighs> it definitely. I think I said it last episode or the episode that you first mentioned this theory. Like, I wonder if this all stems to what ended up causing John's death. I wonder if this is all linked to that. And because one million percent, Clay is responsible for John's death. I 100% believe that. And until they tell us what happened to him officially, yeah. I don't have any other thought. I am 100% on board that Clay, the club, responsible. Because John probably had the same mindset that, you know, Jax has right now in terms of trying to get, like, on the right path. Right. Being well, more straight and legit because of his book. the book, yeah. So I'm wondering if just like I'm going to tell blah 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 I'm going to do this I wonder if there's just some kind of connection with Ireland that this whole Irish storyline goes back to what happened to John I feel like that's where we're going at some point but yeah I mean we'll see but this show is wild it every episode it just gets crazier and crazier it does it really so, does so good it's incredible it's well done it just keeps you on the edge of your seat constantly and they are so good at just planting these little seeds and moving on because it's like, no, go back. Please, just ask a follow-up question. Be like, Ma, what do you mean by more truths? What is it then that I can handle? What do you mean by that? But no, we just cut the I next scene. I feel like scene. they're just going to come and kill us. That's what that, you more truth. Yeah, I don't know. We're all dying over, yeah. over here. So. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot. I think there's a lot to unpack for sure. And we'll see by the end of the season, I would imagine. So, yeah, turn this thoughts? into a podcast. I mean, 100%. No. Yeah, I mean, this show is just incredible. So, yeah, you guys leave all your thoughts. We'll catch you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.